Okie doke. So, um, yeah, to kind of get me back into the swing of things for painting, and I've been wanting to paint, uh, wanting to paint this um, miniature for quite some time. It's a 1 to 72 scale um, plastic miniature, and I also picked up the uh, accompanied uh, artillery people. Um, and I'm use, also using Plastic Soldier Review. Uh, these guys are fantastic. They're my primary source of... Uh, I actually don't buy something or even f usually find out about anything uh, until I go to this website. Uh, I'll take a, I'll read their uh, thing over quickly uh, about what they say about the, the Putilov 76mm M1902 gun. Um, as you can see here, it, it, it'll get... Uh, that's the, the other beautiful thing about um, plastic miniatures. Boy, do you ever get a lot of bang for your buck. So I'm getting four artillery pieces. And like they said, it's a uh, very hard plastic. It's a khaki. We'll take a look in a minute here. And then, uh, what do they say? Hold on here. Oops, sorry. It's getting stuck. Uh, as a site devoted to figures, we don't usually include this sort of kit, but as it is part of the hot figure range, it is here simply for a complete list, completeness. The Putilov 76mm M1902 divisional gun was a light Russian field gun <clears throat> that performed well and was used in conflicts such as the Russo-Japanese War, World War I, and the Russian Civil War by both sides. Modified version also saw action in the early part of, the world, of world War II. This kit is made up of only six pieces, but is a rel really nice model and to our eye remarkably accurate. More to the point, hat have made it in hard plastic, which along with the good tight engineering make make this a very easy kit to assemble. So I'll take a quick look. And this is what I'll be doing. Yeah, I think it's also part of uh, trying to increase my efficiency as, and whatnot. And I've found that over time, um, if I stick to a timetable and a, you know, a schedule and all that, um, Things go a lot better for me. And uh, I was like, you know what? If I can do 30 minutes a day of painting a miniature, uh, mi painting miniatures, that would be great. So, like they said, there's the six pieces, I guess. There's the, the main body, the barrel. I don't, uh, whatever. So, there's two wheels and whatnot. So, oh, yeah, you can see the, compare it there, I guess. So that'll be yeah a nice size. I mean, I find a one to seventy two scale like what's that about twenty millimeters, twenty two like around that millimeters or so. Um, you know, it seems to be like in between ish, uh, you know, fifteen millimeter and um, maybe the old school twenty five, twenty eight. Um, you know, nowadays, holy smokes, what they call twenty eight millimeter, it seems pretty darn big to me. Um, but the same as 15, there's a lot of people getting away with it. And I'm like, ah, it's more 18, man. But uh, we're not talking about that. So that's what I'm going to be doing, I hope. Um, yet again. And then now I'm yet again. Now I'm off to Tannenberg.